Hey, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. Part four and final part of our uphill, downhill, side hill series, ball above the feet. Now, for those of you who have a, a hard time, you know, you kind of tend to hit the ground before the ball, you tend to hit it uh, a little heavy, uh, or you, you have too steep, right? If you have too steep of a backswing, you're gonna have a lot of trouble on this line. That's why for those of you who do well with the ball below the feet, don't do really well with the ball above, and vice versa. So you just saw what we did with the ball below the feet. Now ball above the feet's a little different. We don't wanna have the weight on the heels or the, or the underneath the ankles here. This is the only time where you're actually gonna have the weight on the balls of the feet, more toward the front of the arch. So this is how I gain my balance when the ball is above my feet. Now, I had a six iron throughout the series, and you'll see that my six iron with the ball above my feet very much resembles the swing plane of a driver. When I have the ball below my feet, this swing plane resembles much more that of a wedge. So we're going from a wedge to a driver with the same club. That's why it's important that swing plane never be a concern to you. It's not your job to find your swing plane. That's gravity's job. So if you go to my video, feel the swing plane, you're gonna see how I do it with that hammer into the door frame. And if you go to my other video, swing plane, Sean Clement, I show you how the perpetual motion, right, you feel that perpetual motion, will find the swing plane for you in every situation that you have. So when the ball's below the feet or above the feet or you're going uphill or downhill, Perpetual motion drill, PMD, is still golden when it comes to adjusting yourself before you hit each shot. So right now, if I do a little perpetual motion, I feel like, oh, I gotta keep the weight more on the front of my feet to maintain my balance. At the end of my swing, obviously, my heel's gonna be coming off the ground. The weight's gonna find itself back down to my left ankle at the end of my swing only, okay? So all I want to feel is that, hey, I can finish my backswing, finish my follow through, finish my backswing, finish my follow through. So my arms always have access to the target. Throughout the, the series, the, video you, the videos you want to continue to consult are arms and body timing, stop crashing, and top view of swing. So that you remember this drill right here, let the arm fall. Let the arm fall. So you see how I'm allowing the arm to continue its swinging action? So it's let it swing, let it swing, let it swing, let it swing. So whichever situation you're in, the arms are always allowed to swing freely to a target. Is the ball and the ground in front of the ball in the way of me swinging to the target? Nope. Yes. All right, so out of the way. Out of the way. So you notice how nice that ball just took off? So when it comes to a situation like this, people tell you, hey, it's gonna go left. Well, not if you swing through the ball to a target in balance, it will go straight, okay? It will only go left if you start falling down the slope. If you fall down the slope, you'll rake the club towards you and then you'll have a tendency to pull the shots to the left. However, if you're in balance, and the ball and the grass in front of the ball is in the way of you swinging to a target, out of the way, out of the way. Whoo, does that feel good? Super perfect, solid strike in the center of my club face, okay? Now let's look at what, that, what that'll look like in front, with the front view here. By the way, never use legs to move this sucker around. You're gonna hurt your knees, okay? So, I'm still slightly behind the ball. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. So it feels like I can whip the snot out of that golf club towards the target in an effortless, strain-free manner, in perfect balance. Now you're playing golf, okay? Now you're using your, your, um, your, your, the proper wiring in your system 
to execute the shots. You're not thinking about the swing. You're allowing the swing to perform by itself, okay? So I'm looking forward to some great exchanges on our forum when it comes to the uphill, downhill, side hill because we're getting ready to go out and play golf on the golf course. If you have a practice facility near you that has this on the driving range, please get yourself into those positions. It will help your swing immeasurably, I promise, okay? And when it comes to playing Lynx courses like at Yaz, we just came back from Abu Dhabi, and uh, the Yaz Lynx had these beautiful, sinewy, uphill, downhill lumps all over the fairways. There's so many courses like that in the continental U United States and Canada, which is so much fun to play, you know? And then I see so many people at, oh no, not one of these lies again, I don't know what to do. This will make your, your fun factor go through the roof when it comes to playing golf, and it's just gonna help continue to polish your swing even more. So enjoy that. We'll see you next time.